Good morning. It is now Monday, Bank Holiday Monday. I hope you've all had a lovely Easter. Uh, as you can see, I'm at home at the moment. I am going to be heading down to the allotment as I've got a friend who has come over to give me a hand because today I will be attempting to put up a new brassica cage, but I need some assistance with it. So on that note, I need to get down to the allotment, but I need to take some of this stuff down with us because I've got potting on to do with the onions, which I'll get done at some point this week. So the, big, the bigger pots, Thanks to these ones, the heavy onions. These will be coming down with me today and the rest will be staying in this greenhouse. So I'll see you down there. Right on the plot and uh, like I say, I've got a friend here with us. It's Mr. Bum. Oh, John. Hello. John's come to give us a hand cutting the scaffold poles because I've got some very long ones here. It's the first time he's heard us say that. He's probably his reciprocating saw doing. How much was this? Because he's telling three pounds. He's telling four or five times now. Twenty three pound for the end. <laughs> that's the most expensive end you've ever had. Yep. <laughs> so what I'm going to plan to do is just knock together a cool frame. Uh, sorry, not cool frame. Brassica cage. I've got all the gear here ready to go. Um, I need some cable ties, which I forget left at home. Grandad's here as well. He's making his mooth gun. Oh, he's. Yeah, see if we can see him. Yeah, we haven't. I was started, grandfather. So, uh, aye, never mind finishing one project, might as well just start another. <laughs> I've got to get these cabbages out. Right, let's talk more action. Right, basic crossing our cage, basic stuff. We've got a couple of scaffold poles. We've got some uh, some yellow gas pipe. It's just a little bit of a We've got some uh, lats, roof and lats. And uh, we've also got uh, cable ties and scaffold, uh, scaffold net for the cover. So, they're the basic stuff that I need. So what I'm going to do, start by doing is cutting four foot lengths so that the pipe can go in the ground securely. Just no concrete, nothing like that. Straight in the ground, that'll be secure. And then once we've gotten them all lined up, then we can pop the hoops in. What you'll see is that as we're progressing on. I'm not in. I've got me one. I'm reusing all materials, so I've got a really long length lat which I'm going to use for the top base. I've got the other length of the lat here, which will be going down the sides, and we'll make a couple for the ribs as well. Basic, really basic structure, and then that's pretty much the tunnel frame sorted out to start with. And then it'll be fun trying to get the uh, the mesh over the mesh over the top, which to be quite honest, I might be able to just uh, staple into the plastic and then just tuck in down to the bottom. But we'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But I'll tell you what, it hasn't taken me too long on, has it? No. Nope. Not too long at all. Right, take a crack on. There we go. Sorry, John's sitting down again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now it is, we've had such a laugh because we're kind of counting to save our life. We've literally, right, measured from the front post to the back post, there's 200 inches. So 200 divided by four is 50. So we'll put a post every 50 inches. Now, nah, put a post 50 inches there, 50 inches there, 50 inches there, then 100. So we're two, between the two, eh? just didn't couldn't calculate the reason as to why <laughs> anyhow right so we've got this on got some braces across the side here but obviously if you just put them across this way then what's going to happen is it's going to be wobbling all over so put some side braces on now it's not it doesn't need to be absolutely solid like them ones 
this is going to have a mesh over the top of it anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. So as long as I've got something to go off, then uh, like I say, if I've got a bit of movement, that's still fine. So the only thing I need to do now is to sort out the front door. So, and then put the mesh on. But uh, I'm going to see what wool I've got. There's a terrible sight in the background. Let's see if I can just zoom into it. That's Grandad Dave. Fortunately, he's Ben Nower. I don't get me full moon from him, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, right, time to get cracked on. So, new brassica cage is coming along canny and it has cost us two, two bits of CLS and like I said, I already had the last and everything spare in any case. It's so It's cost it's you. Put for that <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, I'll give you a coffee. <laughs> so, uh, it hasn't taken too long. Ideally, it would be nice to have some lens of lat doing the bottom, along the bottom, across the bottom, so I've got something to screw right at the bottom. But... Um, I'm gonna to have to have a think what I'm gonna do right down there uh, because, yeah, I don't have that material. So I might just have to pin the, the mesh to the bottom. But I'll see what I've got lying around and I'll see what Gran has got in anyways. But I, not too bad, how much time is it now? It's one o'clock, John keep it in mind at 11. So it's taken with two hours just to knock that structure, that frame up. Hey, not too bad. Oh, I stopped standing on them. I'm not paying you for now. <laughs> um, I've still got these uh, wooden boards from the fence panels, so I found them. These are probably going to do for the bottom, so I can tack it or something. So I'll stick them on, obviously, the outside, like that. But the next thing is how we're going to secure them. So what I've got is I've got some, got some rods. I'm just going to drill a hole put them through and just tie the ends. That's what I'm gonna try anyways, see how that works. So we are literally winging this as we go on here. I've had some, uh, got some like, little rods, which all we've done, I drew two screws, well, I screw two holes into the wood. As you can see, John's just there, uh, tighten them up. And it ends up like this. So that'll keep that board on there and it gives us something to, staple to on the bottom so that's what them done these sides all done got them them lots done there just need to sort out the front section and then i can start putting the the cover on okay that's the bottom sections put in as well it's got a lot going across the back just keep that in so i've got me uh the scaffold netting what i'm going to do is do a wrap from the door by the middle basically all the way around and that should give us enough for half and then hopefully I'll do the same on the other side as well. So um, I'm going to put this back up and I'm just going to get cracking and get this done because time is pushing on.
I'm sitting down again, man, you know. <laughs> and there we go. Brassica cage, all sorted, all done. Basically what we did was, as you've seen, went all the way around the outside. It's two metre um, width. So we stretched it over to the top of the bar and the bottom, doing section at a time to make sure I kept it taut. Good idea would possibly be getting some lengths and just tacking them down, screwing them into the baseboards, just because obviously the staples are not going to hold that for a long, long time because it's individuals instead of one long piece. Um, so like this for example so that's what i've done just nailed this in here so it's keeping that door front door section on and when i get a chance to what i'll do is i'll do put some just along the back sides here and then i'll have a door sorted out for it as well but there we go i know this part at the bottom that's down there i'll sort some out when the time frame comes for it but other than that for knocking a frame together in a couple of hours i think we've done a, a, an all right job so what I'll do is I'll get the, the red cabbage and I'll put them in here. I'll get something to put on for the door. But that should stop the pigeons and the butterflies. Obviously with the door on. Thanks, John. Uh-huh. Say thank you. No, I forgot you were deaf. <laughs> what? Exactly. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> it's a good job I had a decent Harley man, isn't it? Yeah. I'll get his number, I need a bother. <laughs> right, cheers mate, see you later. Right, so the temp this is going to be a temporary measure. So I'm just going to have to put a couple of nails in and obviously I can put it tight so I can shut the door and then I've done over the night. I've brought the cabbages in. I've got the red cabbages on the left and I've got the green cabbages on the right. Uh, these are Lee Herrington's cabbage. I planted two of them out because they needed to be planted out ASAP. I need to get the small tyres, which I will get. But these have uh, these have been planted out. They're in there now. They're in there now. I'll get the other ones done possibly Thursday. Just give them a good drink. I'll let them uh, settle in here for the next couple of days. But hey, I'm over the moon with this. Absolutely fantastic. Yes, it's all cockeyed. Yes, it's all over the place. But the main thing it's going to do is keep the pe pigeons out <laughs> and also keep the butterflies out as well. So that's... That, that, that should be built for years to come now I'm pleased with that if you're going to do it do it properly thanks again John for your assistance today but Brassica 2 Brassica Cage 2 all done so just next to that new structure obviously I've got the other polytunnel which I need to sort out which I will get sorted um, I've got this bit of land here I know someone tidy up and stuff like that but what I'm thinking of is doing is just covering it over and putting fruit trees in so i've already got some fruit trees so i've had this golden delicious for years not really had any fruit off it but uh if i get that in the ground i'll put one here and put another one here i'm gonna have like three trees down here which are the dwarf varieties and i can have like a little nature orchard in the middle and i can just pick from the sides if i can get some more of these i can run it down the other side and I can have like the, that bed there for the trees, which I think is a good idea, to be honest. Let's see, the main thing is I'm trying to keep things low maintenance at the moment, because a lot of my stuff's going to be grown in pots and stuff. But that's for another time. Right, time we get packed up. Yeah. Whoops. I forgot I had uh, the onions in the car. <laughs> right, I best get these pulled out and then pulled out, and I'm going to call it for the day. So I brought these onions in. I'll put them in the tray to give them a drink. I'll come back down on Thursday and I'll separate them all out and space them out and get them all sorted inside of this greenhouse because they're not quite ready yet to be... And then these ones are pot ready to be potted up, the ones on the outside here. And I've got these ones as well, which are not ready yet to be potted up. I've just given them a water. So I've got these ones and I've also got... Sorry, I can't, I can't not show you as I'm walking past. This lovely sunny day today. It smells divine looks divine i'll show you every time that i come down it's absolutely fantastic in here anyways let's quickly get back down here what i was doing before there so i've got them ones i've also got this front one here and them five there as well now i've just put these in here because i thought they were the biggest uh, i'll go through them again i've just given the other heavy onions a water so uh they will have a good drink and that's me all sorted for the today so things are coming along canny. I'm pleased with that, uh, that brassica cage, the new one. Uh, it means I can get more cabbages put in because that's something I do like to grow. And as I've said in previous videos with the, the money 
uh, the shed and everything costing a fortune I will be looking at things that I can start off obviously natural naturally in the normal weather uh, as opposed to relying on propagators and things so that's going to come in handy in years to come but I'm also pleased with the way in which these are as well because onions are something I definitely want to give a go this year and it might be the last year I give them a go obviously like I say for the reasons I, I said before there but once again thanks John for your help today Wednesday I am off next and I'm going to be going to Anna Castle where they shot the first Harry Potter so the kids are looking forward to that so we're going to be going there and then Thursday I'll be back down the plot after potting up all the rest of the onions so I'll catch you there Hello everybody, it's an absolute glorious day today, it is now Friday, I am back at work today so I'm just trying to get things done as fast as I can. We had a lovely time at Anna Castle the other day, uh, the kids had a blast and yesterday, uh, I can't remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> Never mind, I didn't get anything done on the garden anyways, I'm with the off. But in time between my breaks and things today, I'm going to get the other onions potted up and put in the greenhouse because it's absolutely glorious and I want them to get that sunshine and then once I've got them all potted up I can get them all staked up and things because I've got all my sticks and everything ready to go here as you can see so I've got them to sort out and I've got the ones at the back to sort out as well but I need to get them potted up first so let's get this done because let's say I haven't got really much time. Sorry about the noises in the background there unfortunately we hear that all day and all night um, but anyways these are the quality onions that I've got Peter Holden quality onions as you can see they need to be potted up as soon as possible i'm going to get them into sunlight as well so these are going from basically one liter pot to three liter pots and then they should be able to move uh, pretty quick i'm using professional pot bedding uh, compost clover professional so i'm just going to get them put straight into these three liter pots because this is what i've got pots are nice and warm compost nice and warm get them in get them a drink get back to work <laughs> I've got them ones all potted up. I need to sort the, the sides and the, the clips and everything out in just a little second. But I tell you, I've got a fair few onions sitting in here at the minute. That's that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. I've got 25 onions in here. And I've still got some others to, to pot up as well, which I'll try and squeeze in a little bit later on. Right, time to quickly head back to work and I'll see if I can catch this in a bit. So a little bit later on and we're looking a bit bare in here now. I think I've got a problem with this propagator. The thermostat says it's 23.5 degrees. But it's not. Because I've put this other one in. And the lowest it's been is 8.4 and the highest it's been is 18.7. So definitely a problem with that. So I'm having to move all of these out here. And I've also had to move the cucumbers and things out. And I'm pleased that I did because the original stones, probably cucumber the other week. And now in this one, which I have luckily got some germination. Oh, hey. da, 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 da. So there we go. I know that's warm. So I've had 16 uh, cucumbers in here. These are all from my own saved seed. Uh, there's some, I've had to reuse the compost and the, the tomatoes have all come up in this one, as you can see. But... I've gotten 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's starting to come through there as well. So I should have a, I should have plenty plenty of my cucumbers, which I'm pleased about. I've just put these tomatoes and uh, other cucumbers in. So I'll give them a spray of water and I'll put the lid back on and let them get warmed up again. And hopefully we'll have some germination from them in the coming days as well. Hello everybody, it's Sunday afternoon, I've just finished work and I've come down to the plot and I've got a little help out of the day. He's going to be coming helping us while I've got a couple of hours spare. Aren't you, son? Yeah, and that's why I have money in my pocket. Are you? Well, thanks very much uh, for sharing that. 
that's going in my pocket by the end of the day. <laughs> so, a couple of things I want to get done. I want to get the cabbages planted into the ground here. As you can see, they've taken a bit of a bad spell because of the cold weather. But tough. <laughs> tough love. So, it's the same as what the kids get. <laughs> so, I'm going to get these planted out. And I'm going to plant as many onions as I can with the bag of compost that I've got. Because I will have to get some more now. So, uh, Kyle, standing here. Chatting's not going to get nothing done, is it? Uh, it's not going to get enough done. So, let's get these cabbages put in. So the first task, I'm going to get the rest of these onions planted out. I've picked the four of the biggest ones, or six of the biggest ones, should I say. And I'm going to do, I think I can get possibly three out of here. And then I'll get another bag to do the other two, or the other three, sorry, should I say. So we'll get this done now. All right, Kyle, come with a hand. What are you doing? Oh my God, he's got... Oh my goodness. He's, he's actually sweeping up. Oh, look at the tulips. They're starting to die back now. What a shame. But hey, still lovely, isn't it? I can't believe it, I've got it on video. I've got it on video, he's actually tidying up. What are you doing? Hey, you're helping. Helping. You're making it shine, like diamonds. You're making it shine, are you? Shine like diamonds. Shine like diamonds. Oh, very cool. Well, thank you very much. You know, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> crack on, son, crack on. Happy tears. Well, maybe as I was a bit uh, over enthusiastic with the, how many I can get in, I've hit one in, and there's three quarters of that's been filled. So I need to get some more. I'll need at least another two bags of compost. I've already got one bag at home, so I can bring that bag. But I'm going to still going to need another two bags. So I'll have to get that on Wednesday, so that I can get the rest of this all filled in. So I'm going to have to leave these in here, let them uh, get used to the the conditions in here, and then I'll get them planted out next week. So uh, I'll just move these around and we'll go and plant the, the cabbages out. <laughs> He's still gone with a clean. Are you going to show what you're doing? What are you doing, Kyle? Yeah. How about then show what you're doing? There's no more dirt anywhere. There's no more dirt anywhere. Oh, what a... You guys saw dirt, but there's not. No, there's not. Look at the paths. Hey, what a super job he's done. Yeah, look at the path. My path's lovely and clean. Look at... That's it. <laughs> It's what part of gardening's about, isn't it, son? Tidying up. Make sure it's all nice and sweet and tidy. Champion. Well, thanks very much. Right, well, let's go down the bottom and we'll go and put them cabbages in. Yeah? Leave the broom up here. But I'm going to be busy cleaning the other. Oh, you got next door, are you? I'm doing this myself. All right, crack on then, son. Crack on. <laughs> right, get these cabbages in. And then I'll worry about the, the tyres afterwards. You coming to help, killer? Good job. I mean, Kyle's just uh, busy watering at the minute, as you can see. We're sitting here watering. Aren't we, Kyle? 
Yeah, we're busy watering the plants inside of here, aren't we? We're lazy watering. And how, how, why are we lazy? How are we lazy watering? Like giving the water, water to grow. That's right, aye. So we've got some kohlrabi here. Like I say, they're not as big as others, but uh, like I say, it's pretty much the first time I've actually given these any train of thought. So <laughs> we've got some uh, got some kohlrabi, and I understand people's opinions in regards to slug pellets. It's what I had left over. You can't buy them anymore. Blah blah blah. They're getting used because I've got them. All right, they're inside here. The hedgehogs can't get them. No, but nothing else can get them. Only for the snails. Anyways, moving on. So as you can see, I've. Uh, I've had some damage already from the slugs, and the reason why I put them down, looker. So, taking them down off there. That's an alright one there, that's coming on. But uh, you can also see the leaky hose is doing its job as well. So, if we can see them in there. There we go, spot on. So, there's water in this. Let's go and have a look outside in the, the new little tunnel. Well, there we go. Once again, I'm not going to set up my expectations high at all in regards to these plants I've planted out, but uh, I'm pleased that they're out, so I don't have to worry about them anymore. We've got the Lee Heavens green giant on the right, we've got the red giant on the left. These are the green ones, or well, they should be, and these ones are the red ones. These two end ones are looking more promising than the other ones. I know they're purple, Kyle, but they're technically called red cabbage, all right? So, they're done, that's done. Let's have a look at other things at the garden. Before we finish off, right. So the next thing we'll have a quick peek at is obviously the onions, which I've already shown you. So you can see these are in here. Then there's a spray. There's some. Uh, they're getting there, like they're a decent size. I'm pleased with them. Look at them. Hey, that'll do me. Let's see. We'll hopefully have a have a nice size one. I want to just double check this one here because it's got a bit of. Oh, look on the other side. Oh, I don't think that looks very good at all. Bear with us one second. So panic averted. It was just superficial. You can see, it's still nice and clean, it was just the outside. Um, look at that one at the back there as well, which is looking all right. I haven't measured these yet. Uh, I need to give them a spray. Start giving them spray for red spider mite and things like that. So I'll bring the sprays down, but these are opened up nicely. And they're, they're starting to grow, which is great. So it's time to water that tunnel now. So how I do this is I take the hose from there. Come up here, got a bit of a leak in the hose. I've got this end, so it's difficult to do it with one hand. And that's that one done. And if I go inside, I've got a weepy hose on here as well. So we'll come across here, over there. And I'll go all the way across here, under here. On top of here. Yeah, it's starting to come through. All the way around to that side as well. So I'll leave that on for a bit, but we'll have a look at elsewhere. In the top brassica tunnel, the giant cabbages are planted out for Harrogate on the left here. Starting with smallest and working with the biggest. <laughs> so these are coming on fantastic. They're used to the cold, well, they're used to the weather. They're coming over the top of the, the tyres now as well for the support. Same with this one as well. Coming on canny. Seems to be twisting a bit as well, which I don't understand the reason as to why. Same with this one. This is the biggest one. It's starting to twist. But uh, as you can see, the size of the leaves, massive. <laughs> Huge. And we've got the one at the back here as well. I'm starting to come over the top, which is great. Biggest cabbage I've had so far. And then on the left here, we've got the turnip, swede, giant swede. These all need a drink, so I'll come up here next. Oh, we've got a snail, not anymore. Uh, <laughs> so I'll be giving all of these a water because it looks a bit dry up here. Coming out the tunnel, and this is probably going to be one of the last sites you'll see of all the tulips because they'll probably die off by the end of next week. But where there is death, there also becomes more life. As you can see, I've got some more tulips coming up. More tulips there, some doubles, uh, and other bits and pieces coming up as well. I've got some blossoms starting to come up on the apple trees here, which look lovely. Off the first one, and I've got the pear blossom off that side where the fruit's starting to form, which is good. Hopefully we don't have any really cold frost, so I could end up getting a uh, June drop. And over here, I've got Kyle sitting, 
Doing a Mr. Bump. Sitting doing note. I'm just waiting for Daddy to drive. Yeah, just waiting for Daddy to drive you, right? No bother. Inside the top tunnel here in the greenhouse, we've got the onions that's ready to go for pots. And I've actually got another 29 onions at home as well. So plenty of onions to play with. So yeah, lots of still plans to do. Lots of things to still do, should I say. Um, lots of things to plant out still, which I've got the first of May off, which is going to be great because I'll be able to get everything else planted out. I've still got to start a few other things off as well, um, but I'll let you know, know them when I find uh, find my seeds and stuff. I got in contact, I was contacted last week uh, by one of my old gaffers and a family friend. Um, now, sadly, he's, uh, he's, his dad passed away um, not that long ago. And uh, he was a keen gardener and uh, they're busy emptying the house and stuff like that. And he asked us if I fancied, uh, if, if I knew anybody that wanted uh, this. This here. So this here is a 20 foot greenhouse. Uh, Macca condition, obviously. Uh, so I've just got to go over, take all the glass out, take it apart, and bring it over, and it's mine for keeps. I'll show you the plan of what I'm going to do with that. So this shed, uh, it's come falling apart from the outside in over the roofs obviously he's knackered as well uh, so the our plan is i'm going to take this down so i've got all of this which is all already paved and slabbed i'm going to build a nice man shed slash pot and shed and then i'll end up measuring 20 foot down to there and this is where the greenhouse is going to go from wherever i decide the end of the shed uh, this will all be getting rid of i'll replace and remove all of these of course um, and it'll be going down here and I'll have to measure how far 20 foot goes and then uh, I'll have the greenhouse to about hopefully about here so all of this will be a greenhouse I'll have the pipework running through it in case I ever want to put the fire on for the, the greenhouse itself so uh, yeah that's plans for future though but that's what this area is all going to be so a majority of this garden is going to be like I say for sure so I know it's a shame about here but needs must. Well, here's Granada Dave. Time for a catch up. So just quickly, I wasn't expecting Granada to come down. So uh, as you can see here, tomatoes are doing rather well. All green, lovely. So I've already gotten orders for tomatoes already. So uh, I'll be able to get these out. These are in a cold greenhouse. It's nice and warm in here actually. So uh, nice strong plants. Ready to be, uh, to be potted up planned out whenever they like so Gran has done a bang up job in here he's also getting the garden all tidy as well he's ahead of me for uh, getting everything right <laughs> he's already got his potatoes in across the back there as well are you exploring Kyle? <laughs> right let's see what he's got going on in here and these ones are not money these what ones are them ones? are they the yellow ones? They're some gold. They're the ones that I like. That's not money. Good, because that's all they're only for me anyways. <laughs> oh, right. So Corner's Delight. Corner's Delight. We've got Great. Corner's Delight. People who are wanting oh, loads of Corner's there last year. We've got some Alicante. These are our Corner's Delight behind you. Our Corner's Delight there. So right, they've gone from in here and they're going into the greenhouse next door. There's little Kyle and uh, then from the cold greenhouse out next door, they go out and get sold done. From my house, I'll take them all home and I'll sell them from home. Bang up job, grandfather. Right, ah. let's get let's have a look at this fire. Handy tip. If you've got a little propagator, a little paraffin heater, don't stand over the top of it. Because <laughs> it's half a wham in the groin area. <laughs> grandfather. <laughs> Man has been duffed. He's falling now, I know. <laughs> what do you like, man? I wonder where I get it from. Full moon. And say the cold free cold like the, the cold greenhouse which has got a tarp over the top of we've got the uh the flowers which are potted up uh i think it was last week and uh they've taken well they're all right they're starting to flower already hey go on now, these petunias are starting to flower i don't know where mine are what do you mean yours oh your plants no. i don't know where your plants are neither do you want us to nip these uh these, nip these flowers off the top the, flower? the flowers and the petunias Oh my word, I've never seen that. That wasn't done this morning. <laughs> Get them nipped off. So we nip them off to promote the growth and also promote more flowers. It's so, cool in here, ain't that? Nah, it's cool nice. Yeah, but they're all right. They're good. You see, they're good plants, them. Eh? Garden direct. Good plants. He's got his onions as well, ready to go. So they're all hardening off. But, no? Good job, yeah. grandfather. Then I'm going to sign off.
So yeah, productive week. I'm over the moon that uh, the Brassica tunnel. I managed to get all them plants all out. So getting on canny. Um, I haven't made plans yet for next week. I don't even know what I'm doing next week yet. But uh, I do have a week off from the 30th of May, uh, 30th of April, sorry, for a week. So I can't wait for that. I'll get down here and get things sorted out and obviously up at home as well. Um, so, like I said, the next step will be getting the onions planted out. So I have got nothing else to say. So, Kyle, do you want to say goodbye? Bye. Well, then, say goodbye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> so on, I'll son. catch you all next week. Take care, stay safe, and uh, thanks for watching. Let me in there. Not a problem. Mm -hmm.